Hello everybody, Jurassic Player here, and today I have both my DS right here, and my brother's DS right here, um, here. And um, today I'm going to be showing you the, uh, Nifi, Nifi, the N-I-F-I, the uh, multiplayer, N E S. DS emulator something something yes the NES DS emulator I'm going to be showing you how to do multiplayer on it and uh, the game that we'll be using is four players tennis European version <sighs> oh also I am currently using only one flash card uh, you probably can't see it that there is nothing in here but there is in fact nothing in my DS at the moment this can be accomplished because you are loading the homebrew onto the memory and then you load the game and then you can take out your flash card because then both things are loaded onto the memory and it is fine to play you can do this for as many uh, flash cards as you want so if I wanted to right now I could take out my flash card because I have also loaded the game already, as well as the homebrew. But, uh, what we'll be doing is uh, something completely different. We are not dealing with that, we are dealing with this. The Ni-Fi option, or whatever you want to call it. And so pretty much, it's really simple to use. Um, we have right here the Wi-Fi stat Ni-Fi status on the bottom here. Single player, idle. And uh, one of them you just want as a host. So we just press that. Or if I press it, there we go. And then you'll see it change, waiting for second player. Then you just go here. And then uh, do the same thing. Except here, you are doing as a guest. It resets the game on both of them. And then uh, pretty much you can consider this second one streaming from the first one. So that means that this one is slightly slightly slower as a guest <coughs> um, you probably won't be able to tell all too much um, unless you're listening to the audio very well um, but uh, yeah after that um, it's pretty easy um, on this one we have a uh, we just be we're able to uh, just choose it so I'll choose for one versus two player and uh, let's just choose you. Who wouldn't want to choose a girl? And um, since I already screwed up, you'll just be zero zero zero. And we'll just continue down all the way down. Okay. Um, points. Mm, put everything in there. Okay, cool. Now, this is the host DS right now that you can see. And um, as you can probably tell now, I am moving my uh, cursor around, but or my D-pad around, and I am no longer able to control this, the uh, NES screen. That is because this is the second player's choosing. Um, so if I move over to my second DS and, uh, and I use this, you can see that it does move. And it is, in fact, of course, second player that's using it. Um. Yeah. Okay. I th I think I will try it. Let's see. I'll try and allow you guys to see exactly how much of a difference there is between each DS. Hopefully, you'll be able to catch it because it is not exactly too much, but. In some cases, it could end up breaking your game. And that's about it. Not much else to see there. But... Um, 
Let's see. Second player, we will choose boy. Boy will also start anew. And, uh, he'll be 0, zero, zero, zero 001. We'll, we'll follow the zero, 00 numbers. Alright. And, uh, you will have all speed. I should have named him 009. But that's okay. Um, I actually have no idea how I'm supposed to continue. Oh, wait, never mind. I remember now. I'm supposed to go back to the first one and press start. There we go. Uh, choose a place. Alright, 000 versus 001. Androids, uh, or they shall be for now. And so, if we, uh, we do this here. I hope I can do this. Now you can probably tell both of these screens are showing the same screen because of course on a regular uh, NES game there's only one screen for the TV and then of course two controllers. And so I will be using of course mine. So as you can see I'm able to move my character right now. I'm using my D-pad. And uh, if I move over to my uh, brother's DS, then I'll be able to move the other character back there. And there you have it. Ooh. Now, I've actually never played this game before. This is just because it said four player, and it seemed like it could have two or more players, and so thus, it was chosen. <laughs> but, as you can see, um... Wi-Fi-ish stuffs works. Uh, well, I guess Ni-Fi, but um, just keep in mind there is a slight amount of lag between the DSs. So, um, worst comes to worst, it would be best to play using your DS, but watching the first the uh, the host screen um, to not have to deal with lag issues and uh, of course on the bottom we see um, host playing multiplayers and uh, on the bottom of this one we have 95 status guest playing um, that's about it um, I guess I, I'll serve and uh, there we go woohoo I have no idea what it... Did I get a point yet? Alright, I got a point, I think. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, okay, I don't know how to play at all. But anyways, um, thanks for watching. Um, this was the NES DS emulator. The uh, Ni-Fi bit of it. I would show you how to start it like entirely from the beginning but I have too many and it takes too long for NESDS to load my list of games so that's why I started from where I did but that is all there was not actually much to this video um, it was just supposed to show the Nifi option and that it works and um, that it's easy to do nothing particularly hard about it and um yeah that is all uh thanks for watching and i hope you'll watch whatever i have next